what you should be doing in each semester in your PhD. The first semester, you need to collect all the journal papers in your area. The first six months is a crucial period uh, in your PhD. So if you waste the first six months, which means um, you are a failure because well begun is half done. So if you begin well in your PhD, you are almost successful. That is why the first six months of your PhD is very, very crucial. Okay, remove pre-course work and all those things are very common. But otherwise, uh, besides pre-course work and all, the first six months you have to spend collecting journal, collecting research papers in your topic by visiting all journals and uh, YouTube videos, websites, magazines, we're going to library and getting some information whatever maybe you have to collect what are all the available sources in your topic you this is the very very important thing in uh, your first semester now second semester you have to make summaries of all those which you have been collecting i don't say to make summaries of everything pick up some important that are very close to your topic and try to make summaries in the whole second semester and at the same time try to publish write a paper uh, to a scopus indexed journal or sea or any important which has got good impact factor too so if you can spend second semester in making summaries attending some national or international conferences or uh, writing uh, 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 research papers uh, to some Scopus indexed journals is a very good idea to go with. And third semester, this is a semester you need to work out on your PhD title, little bit narrowing it down so that you can frame one hypothesis. What is hypothesis? Hypothesis is the thing that you will be concluding in the last paragraph of your thesis. Okay, this is what, this is what derived from the whole of my research. So this type of uh, uh, conclusion is very important in the third semester, which means you have to make sure to make uh, and narrow it down your topic and frame some hypothesis and work on that in the whole of third semester and try to uh, uh, bring out the topics areas and what are all the things involved in that particular topic and make a kind of uh, framework in your mind and the fourth semester start chapterization which means you need to write introduction and a literature review anyhow we don't uh, call them chapters uh, they are introduction and literature review but the chapters originally start from the third set chapter one two three four five you have to start writing uh, making a framework in your in your uh, fourth semester and that uh, that is where you will be starting writing uh, uh, thesis so the fifth and sixth semester the fifth semester is where you will be writing the whole of your thesis and by the end of sixth semester you are ready for synopsis so you have to make this kind of framework in all the six semesters of your phd this will make you successful and it will help you uh, to be peaceful in mind and complete phd in time in three years of time if you are part-time also you can complete it in four years of time without wasting 10 years seven years six years unnecessarily wasting initially so much time is something very dangerous to any phd students that which is common nowadays many phd students are wasting time uh, initially and later on they are struggling without clarity of thought and uh, there is no uh, right hypothesis framed at the end and they are struggling this is where again it will lead to unnecessary money spending unnecessary of uh, doing fraud uh, buying theses from online or uh, completely going the other way so don't be in that soup 
work from the beginning this is the secret of a successful phd student visit my website phdstudytips.com for more information and updates thank you